So apparently Antonio Cromartie of the New York Jets called Tom Brady an expletive. What you need to know about expletive is that it means basically he called him a bitch. Now I don't know where Antonio Cromartie gets off calling Tom Brady a bitch. And what is it with this bulletin board material stuff today? Terrell Suggs doing it to Pittsburgh with a t-shirt, now Cromartie doing it in words. Antonio Cromartie is a really good cornerback, but his quarterback is not as good as Tom Brady. Mark Sanchez didn't exactly light it up against the Colts, and the Colts don't exactly have an amazing defense. So I don't know where this cornerback gets off telling Tom Brady that he's a bitch. I mean, you're not going to get under the guy's skin. He has three Super Bowl rings. He looks like he belongs in a Vidal Sassoon commercial. He's dating Giselle Bunchen and has a baby with the lady. Show the man some respect. Tom Brady is one of the best quarterbacks that I've ever seen. Although he's not my favorite, I would take him any day over Mark Sanchez. And I will take the Patriots this Sunday. Now yes, it's easy to take the Patriots because they are a statistical favorite against the Jets, but the Jets do have an amazing defense. I give them some credit. They can compete with the Patriots and they will make it close on Sunday. But you do not give an MVP quarterback fuel to beat your ass on Sunday in the precursor game to the AFC title game next week. Your goal, Mark Sanchez, Antonio Cromarty, Rex Ryan, the whole Jets team, is to make it to the White House. On HBO's Hard Knocks, before the season started, there was all this talk about how Rex Ryan was planning out the itinerary for when they're going to go visit the big White House with their championships and all that and whatever and you know they're the team of destiny and then you got these players talking smack to the Patriots getting them more motivated why wouldn't you just stay quiet prove your skills on the field and forget about all the extra talk you don't need to motivate a team that's already better than you I mean let's face it even if the Jets win they are the underdog and I don't care what the coach says in the locker room Every man in that locker room knows that they are not the favorite. And you know what? Most of the players are going to play it smart and play it the way they're supposed to when they speak in the media. Well, you know, we know it's going to be a tough game coming into Foxborough Gillette Stadium. You know, they the favorites. They're supposed to win. And we're just going to go there and work hard and play our game. We're going to stick to the plays. We trust Coach Ryan. We trust Mark Sanchez and we gonna do what it takes you know we gonna leave it all out there on the field and then whatever happens we gonna be cool with it that's what you're supposed to say you're not supposed to be calling a quarterback a bitch okay just a little 101 NFL talk for you boys anyway leave me your opinion on what you think will happen on Sunday whether the Jets can actually upset the New England Patriots in New England and let me know if you think Tom Brady is an expletive. Leave your comments below. Subscribe to Sports by Jack. And if you're not watching me, then you don't know Jack about sports.